what we're going to show you guys is going to change the internet. What we're going to show you today is really three revolutionary products. And we're going to take you through a process and a journey uh, and, and show you exactly what these do. The first thing is, is a simple two-step, two, it's just a, a very easy point-and-click blogging system, okay? The second one is, is a mobile audio and video broadcasting app. A lot of you have your phones up right now, right? And a lot of times we talk about building a business from our phones. Well, we're about to take that to the next level. The last thing is, is a sales conversion engine. Because the truth is, is that there's lots of blogging platforms out there and there's, there's lots of different products that do lots of different things. But guys, nothing, and I repeat, nothing does what we're going to show you today. Again, I want to repeat, it's three different products. Three different products. A blogging platform, a mobile platform, and a sales engine. Okay? It's very important to understand that, that what we're going to show you today is a three, and dare I say three in one. Okay? ENV2, guys. We're going to show you today something that we've been working on for the last year. All right. So, so with ENV2, like I was, uh, heard you guys talking about backstage, we really did want to make this thing grandma-proof. We wanted it to um, be able to take all the complexity that's associated with WordPress, all the things that uh, you have with the other uh, blogging platforms out there, from having to do themes, from having to figure out, you know, how do I even just get hosting set up? How do I make my first blog post? You know, it's just really difficult. So what we've done is we built an entire platform around that. So what I'm showing here right now is just primarily, you know, what you've normally been seeing in the, the, uh, the regular website. So there's a lot here and there's a lot to the platform. So I'm going to give everybody just a little bit of a brief tour. <laughs> and then I've actually got a lot of our team that has worked on the product sitting around backstage, going to interact with us a little bit to be able to kind of demonstrate really some of the power that's here. So the back office primarily, we've made everything about the blog. So here in this central area, right here is what we're calling your activity feed. And you have four different types of posts that you can make just straight off the bat with really outdoing, uh, without really having to go in multiple clicks and try to figure things out. So we have uh, text posts, audio posts, image posts, and video posts, all optimized straight out, right out of the box. So we'll, we'll get into some of those when we start to kind of do some posts and stuff and show you guys a little bit of how that works. The other thing we have here is on the left-hand side, access to all of your products. So everything that's a core product is straight off the side. So let's just look, uh, let's look at Costa Rica Intensive. So if I come over here, your activity feed switches to each of the different products in your feed. If I just want to drop one down, I have the, have the video right there for it. Everything plays straight from the browser. And the other thing I want to go ahead and mention here, so I've got some comments that are there, and we'll show the comment feed here in a little bit before. I know one of the biggest challenges we've had with comments on the current platform is you have to have a separate profile. So everybody has had to have both an Ian username, they've had to have a LiveFire username, they've had to have WordPress usernames and all this kind of stuff. We've eliminated all of that. So let's just look, uh, let's, let's just look down here, I'll show you, we'll, I can play another video here. So Casey, okay, so you're saying we've got our own proprietary commenting system now? Absolutely, okay. that's exactly what I'm saying, our own proprietary commenting system. So, you know, in adding a comment, you're already logged into the network, so all I have to do is, you know, let's just type something here. It immediately posts, you can immediately reply straight in line to your post, it immediately updates everything as you go, so as you're watching live posts, you can see interaction with other people within the network. And you can also badass comment, so that way you can in interact with each other to show the different <laughs> things that you actually like. So to kind of give you a little bit, keeping with the landscape, here on the top, we have for some things like video hosting, some of the other products that we have, we have a show all products kind of section. And here, the media hosting, which we're really proud to launch in Chicago, which was really kind of our first, and we've got a ton and thousands of subscribers on the platform that are streaming videos off of it every day. 
But with the media hosting, we've switched it up just a little bit to make it more integrated with the ENV2 platform, but then to also add audio. So audio posts are, and audio hosting is built right in. So just to show a little bit of what that looks like, if I look at my media management tab, everything is completely integrated. The, um, inside the, the interface here, um, so let's uh, go back up to our, our profile. So we have the ability to you know, view and edit my blog, view and edit my profile. We have a My Business section. So this is where things that are currently in your back office under My Tools, um, things like managing your account, managing affiliate status, commissions earned, all of that now is up underneath this area underneath the My Business section. So if I go and I click you know, for leaderboards, for instance, you can see leaderboards. You know, I have a team emailer. Now, one of the things we did with a team emailer that's really, really cool is we allowed it to, we provided more tools to be able to segment lists. So you can individually target based on program plus paid and unpaid, plus along with the relationships that you have in all your downlines. So coming back and just um, going back, and we'll just, you know, at this point, I think everybody has a lay of the land of kind of where everything is, so let's just make some blog posts. Let's just say, isn't ENV2 awesome as a first post? So in this, um, in this feed, you know, I can basically, I'm putting my message title, I'm putting my descriptions, everything that I would normally put it into a creation post right in this step. So let me just put in a little bit of text here. You know, it's an inline editor. You have different options to be able to form it, format your posts and such. Um, and then I get, one of the things I get to do is I get to select who this is going to be seen by. So if I actually look and I hit the drop down, we have the ability to have both private and public posts inside of ENV2. So one of the things that you can do is you can target within your, within your teams of who do I want to see that. And we'll talk about that a little bit as we go on, as we start seeing some private posts actually uh, go into the activity feed. But for now, I'm just going to make a public blog post. So down here, I would actually select public blog, and then I can select which blog it's going to go to. One of the things we've added with ENV2 is you're going to have the ability to have from one EN account multiple blogs. <clears throat> Every, every time I see this, I get more and more and more excited, you know? <laughs> well, it allows you as an individual, because we want ultimately your Ian account to be the center of your blogging universe. So it allows you to be able to have one place to manage all your content and be able to have distinct messages based on where you're going out online. And so, you know, we wanted to make sure that we had it to where, you know, you don't have to have multiple hosting accounts to be able to have different blogs online. You know, why not just have it here? You get to select where that content goes to, and it's av immediately available across um, everything, just as Grandma Proof as everything else. Hey, hey, Casey, what about if somebody wants to have different domains, like work with David Sharp online, for example? He, he's got a blog outside. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I guess I should mention that now, huh? The, um, one of the things that you know, we have in the new system, everybody's blog right now is empowernetwork.com slash en username. Well, in the new system, you can actually map that to your own custom domain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they might like that one. I gotta be distracting. <laughs> so, so what if they want 10 blogs? On different domains, can they do that? Oh uh, yeah, we, we can do that from the same feature. Just yeah, drop from down. the same feature set from the same. How about feature? ten different domain, like ten different domains yep, too? Ten different domains too. So ultimately, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and select the the, the blog I'm going to post it to, <laughs> just my standard Empower Network blog, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the category. We have the ability for you to add categories, just like you would in WordPress in the prior system. So I'm going to just going to select demo as the category that this is going to go to. Then we also have the ability right in line to be able to add any kind of SEO options. If you wanted to put meta titles, keywords, or descriptions right in the blog post, you can. So I'm just going to put a couple of things here and just put a demo tag, um, demo. So I put in my first env 2 demo as my description. And let's just go ahead and hit publish. So as soon as I hit publish, it immediately posts my activity feed. And, so, and also with the public post, Anybody who is in your team, basically your sponsor in your front line, sees it also appear in their activity feed immediately. So, so just, just to be clear, like this activity feed, if, if I've got 5,000 people sponsored, 
uh, and uh, I post this, they log in, they'll see my post right there in their back yep, office. They'll post, and we do have, yep. That's big. And we do, we do have some sorting options to make this a little bit, uh, you know, manageable as well, because, you know, ultimately, especially for big teams, you want to be able to see if it's the latest content. We also allow you to search by the number of badasses a particular post has gotten. We'll show the badass uh, button here in a minute. We also have things like most controversial or reputational based on comments. Um, so you can see how many comments are there. And, and I can also filter just to view my own posts. So if I'm working on my blog or a couple of different things, I can filter the activity feed out that way. So let's go ahead and look at another post type. So, you know, I came out here shooting a video. Everyone here shoots videos, so I figured that would be a good one to show. Um, so a video post acts somewhat the same as a text post just to start. So, you know, I'd enter in my title. So let's do a, uh, uh, my first video post. And, and adding the video, you can add from multiple sources. So if I click the Add Video button, Ultimately, I can start, I can continue to embed from a URL. So for people who are still using external services other than our own, we suggest you get ours, but if you're using things other than our own, you know, we do still support that. And so, you know, just, I'm gonna make a first one just showing a YouTube post. I'm gonna, I've got a video up here that I'm just going to move over to. It's as easy as just putting the URL from the share link on YouTube. So all you do is you, you copy and paste your URL, click add video, it immediately adds it straight into the feed. <laughs> Now, now, Casey, that there, what, what else, uh, what other sites does that work with? The... Anything that has a URL that'll embed. And we also okay. support, we continue to support embed code. So anything in an iframe link or uh -huh. anything in uh, JavaScript embed, we still support. We haven't taken that away. Okay. So it's all still there. And one of the cool things about video is you can actually play the video, like I showed on, we were showing kind of a product of how you'd be able to see it. You know, I can view that right now, straight out of the, out of the activity feed. So as I'm writing my post, you know, let's, you know, we can watch it and get some context. I can see kind of as I'm wanting to comment on different timestamps, I can, so. So let's just go ahead and put in a little bit of text. Dude, I'm getting like, it's pumped up. <laughs> kind of stopped that at a weird spot. Let's move it back to the beginning. All right, so the same thing too, I can pick who's gonna see this. I'm gonna stick with the public blog for now. I'm gonna go out to the public blog, select my Empower Network blog, put in a demo category, and the SEO options this time I'm just not gonna fill in because they're optional and just to keep things kind of going. So let me go ahead and click publish. And so now I've got a video post that's already been published out to my blog. Just as easy as that. So it gets even better though when you're using the Empower Network. But wait, service there's more is what he's basically yeah. trying to say. But wait, there's more. If you're, if you're a customer of our, our video hosting service or our media hosting service, really in the EMV2 platform, you get audio and video galleries that you can choose from, straight from your activity blog. So this time I'm gonna go, let's do it um, video from EN. This time I'm gonna click add video. I'm gonna actually go down to browse from gallery. So now I can actually see different videos that we've taken that I'm gonna be able to choose from that are actually already uploaded into my gallery. I'm gonna select the demo video, click add video. It's already inside my video post. It's already uploaded to, our, to the Empower Network video hosting service. So now all I gotta do is enter a description. And isn't this an awesome view? And we'll go ahead and click uh, public blog click the Empower Network blog again. We'll just keep using the demo category for now. Click Publish, and that's all there is to it. So it's completely integrated. So that seems like not, not like two or five or 20, but like 100 times easier than yeah. what we've got now. Ultimately, if you're a customer of the, Empower, of the Empower Network video hosting service, we try to make the entire experience completely integrated so that way, you're, there's no more copying and embed code and trying to put it into HTML inside of a blog post or anything like that. So one of the things that, I, that has actually been going on, I actually, now that I'm looking kind of the post that I've made, I've got comments all the way down <laughs> through here. So, you know, just, I can actually go ahead and see real time the comments without having to refresh or go out and back in different accounts to be able to see kind of what it has. So like on the very first post that I've had, um, Scotty Ballard, that, I wonder, that sounds like Jerry's, is that? I wonder if he's related to Jerry Ballard, but anyway, so let's see actually who he is. 
So I can click on an actual link to see who the user is that posted. I actually see the full profile of the user, whatever information people in the network share to be able to see kind of who I'm interacting with on a daily basis. So I'm going to just reply to Scotty. It will take my business. Yes, it will. So, it, um, so I can reply straight up in line. And um, as I'm working with these individual comments, like, you know, I can see any, any kind of activity that's going back and forth. So I had, he commented, um, John, one of our engineers actually that worked on the product commented it was awesome. And I'm going to say congrats. Now this is happening uh, live right now, right? This is absolutely happening live. So we're actually posting the live sites and people are interacting with me backstage. So let's go and see what else they kind of set up here. Uploading looks like a breeze. Ed is another one of our software engineers that's on the team. So let's go ahead and see what, who Ed is. Well, Ed actually, now that I see it, Ed actually posted something. And this is a demonstration now. He actually posted a picture of the big bear, if you've seen it. And that bear, bear. he actually took it. <laughs> this is a private post. This is a post that Ed actually posted as a member of my team um, and posted it sees it in, into my activity blog. So I can uh, um, look at it, just kind of see what's there, post a comment. But one of the cool features that we added is the ability to reblog. So Ed made a post into my feed. I now have the ability, if I want to share that particular content with anybody else, either on my public blog or in my feed, I can. So all I have to do is click reblog. And when I reblog that post, I can kind of choose of the types of what I want. I can either be a text post. I can be a video post, I can be an audio post. So what you're saying is, is that a post can go viral inside of Empower Network? Yeah, pretty much. You know, so I'm going to actually reblog this post and put it up on mine because, you know, it was. It's a, you know, it's a cool picture. So um, let's just do this. My first reblogged post. That is a big bear. So. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go ahead and put it back out to my public. I'm going to select the Empower Network blog, um, do it as the demo, and go ahead and publish. You just posted a blog post in like 15 seconds. Oh, we've passed it. Yeah, we've done like four or five blog posts, you know, under a minute probably. I've never, ever posted a blog post ever that quick. I mean, I have, imagine how fast Chris Record will do it now. <laughs> it's going to change from an hour to three minutes. Maybe even three seconds. <laughs> so we've been playing around in the activity feed in the back office of what you see when you actually log in. So let's actually go and look and see what it actually looks like out on the blog. So if I come back up to this section, I can go view and edit my blog. And I can actually see a real-time view of what my blog is. So you can see all the posts that I've just been making live from stage replicate straight out to my Power Network blog. So in that, you know, we have the ability to customize this as That's, well. So I was just going to say, Casey, can they, yeah, do they have to use those images and no. those pictures and those banners and all that? No, not, not at all. So I can actually click this little plus button. It drops down, and it actually starts to give me customization options. I just got to say, that's sexy. So if I start looking at the types of different things I can do, and, and uh, you know, my blog right now is very, very, very clean, very pretty. I'm about to mess it all up because I'm not the graphics guy by any stretch. So, you know, let's just choose a background color, uh, choose a button color, you know, choose a link color. Go ahead and click Save Changes. It's immediate. It's immediately out on the blog right now. Now, now just, just, and there's a couple of you in the room who used to do this. We used to find your blog and you'd go in and hack the code. And you'd put your own, like, you know, background. It'd be, like, flashing, like, dollars and stuff and, like, all this stuff. You don't have to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? You yep. could just use ours. Yep. You know, and I do have the option if I wanted to come in here and into my blog post or my blog theme, if I wanted to upload or change images, all I got to do is hover over the particular image, click Edit and Upload Image, and then I can edit that blog or that blog's header right there, right within the customization thing. Do you have an Can image? show that to people? Yeah. Or? Do you have an image? Let's show, let's show that to people, because this is cooler than it looks Sh show like. The, show the folks that. Show the folks that. Well, it, fortunately, you caught me without an image to be able to upload there. So. Well, ah. just but the so nude photos you were showing me earlier, Casey. So, so what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I said the nude photos you showed me earlier. Yeah, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one of Dave Sharp when he was in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I took it out.
So yeah, so the way you would do it, unfortunately, I don't have a photo that I can actually upload. You never right. know what's going to come out of either one of our mouths at any time. You know? Oh, no. So it can be random. So I can click up here. All I do is I can basically choose a title. I can choose the destination URL as well if I want to be able to change wherever my banner clicks actually go to. So let's make sure I don't um, lever that. You can edit or upload an individual image. And we have different size adjustments based on the particular tem template that you're using to be able to help you, um, you know, make sure you're sizing appropriately and all those sorts of things to make it really easy to edit. But I can edit those. You know, I can edit everything from the, the side banner here. I can edit the footers. If I come down to things like footer data or pa page customizations, let's just look at f footer data you know, first. With footer data, I can go in and change all the different links, different titles, you know, different places where things go. I can go over to page customization. I can actually add static pages. So if you have static content that isn't blog related that you're going to manage from inside the activity feed um, that you just want to be able to have on your own, you know, we can do that here. All you have to do is be able to add a static page and add your content, you're good to go. We also have other places here. You can do, you know, there's other types of things you can choose. We can turn off and on different types of features. And, you know, when you get started playing the platform, there's a lot of things that you can end up doing to play with customization. And so, you know, we're trying to make it, though, that, to give you the power to be able to show the presence that you want online, everything from how your blog is presented to the URL that they're actually navigating to get there to, but also making it as easy as possible and as grandma proof and just making it the most badass blog on the web, honestly, to be able to take over all the other template crap that people have to deal with. Yeah. So just to keep on But going, wait, there's, but there's more. more. So actually, if I look back here, I can start seeing some other posts that have happened. Um, just as just in the time where I've actually been up here, uh, you know, playing around. So, you know, um, somebody else on my team has made a private post. Let's go over that real quick, just so I can show you what that is, and then we'll kind of look in the content. <laughs> so, if I click um, underneath the message title, we'll just do a my first private post. Don't worry, Casey. I can't spell either, and everybody knows it. Yeah, I, auto, the, the damn autocorrect is what always ends up getting me. Is so, you know. so um, the difference with private posts is instead of choosing public blog, I can actually choose if I want it to go to all my team members, effectively meaning anyone who I've ever sponsored, including my, sp or, or including my sponsor. And I can also segment it based on the particular program. So if I have content that I want to be able to target specific to inner circle members or inner circle subscribers, I can do that. And all I have to do is I choose, say, for this one, I'm going to choose inner circle. Um, I could also, they also are additive. So if I wanted to say I wanted inner circle and 15K, I could do that. So all I do is click the next one. Even better. Wait, there's, there's more. more. Hey, every, everybody, repeat after me. Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Uh, uh. So. <laughs> hey, from now on, when we go like this, say, wait, there's more. Practice once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have the ability to segment my post and show it in the activity feed, but one of the most cool things that we've added in here is you have the ability to send an email notification to the people that are actually getting that blog post at the same time you're publishing. So if I wanted to send an email notification at that, all I do is check off the box. It'll appear in those people's activity feeds when they log in, but Better yet, they have an email sitting in their inbox telling them that they have something that they need to go and check out. So, so Casey, this is not only this is not only an external sales machine, but this is like an internal sales machine. Absolutely. So, if somebody like if somebody says, I, "I've got this training that I," and I want you to visualize this with me, that only my inner circle members can see, right? And if you're not in the inner circle, you can't see it. They can do that, right? Yep, they don't see it. And better yet, the people... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> better yet, the people who don't see it know they don't see it because the post shows up. Yep. Hey, hey, tell us what it does. Hey, hey, no, say... Hold on, hold on. Hey, say, that's dirty. That's dirty. 
From now on, when Dave Sharp goes like this, say, that's dirty. <laughs> So what it actually appears as, what it actually appears as, is they don't get to see the content because they're not a subscriber. But what they get to see is that they get to see that the fact that they're not seeing premium content, and they get to upgrade straight from the activity feed. Come on, folks! Come on! KC, KC. KC, 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 KC. But, but. <laughs> there is more, Dave. So we, we talked about a little bit ago, when we showed the reblog, I didn't show the badass button. So one of the things that I can do, you know, I can look through and just see, here's my engineering team actually sitting backstage. So let's actually see what they had to say. Let's play this video. So they're actually all back, and they're the ones who actually made all this happen. So I want to make sure we actually say hi to them. So let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. So I think that particular post is badass. So I just clicked the badass button on that. I want to go and see and badass a couple more posts. But ultimately, what that ends up leading to is I can sort my posts by the number of times the individuals within that have actually seen that post can badass them. So if I just go and sort by badass posts, I'm going to see uh, the video from Ian actually got three, in, three badasses that are, that are associated with it. So it just gives us a way to have social interaction on the platform, both with public posts and with private posts. So, and, you know, so I saw this was another post that got from the engineering team. Uh, let me scroll down here. Look. Oh, wait a minute. Remember that video that I took when I came out, when I was walking around? I thought that was for your I No, that was no, I, for I was doing family. that, I, well, you know, it was my first, you know, first time, well, second time on stage. I thought yeah. I'd actually capture a little bit. I, that was actually, um, let's see, I think that's his video. How'd you there upload you that already? Um, And I, obvious, and I obviously didn't do the right thing with the No, you case. didn't. I was just going to say. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. So, Casey, you're saying when you walked out here, you were taking that video and you posted that when you sat down. Yep. Wow. That's exactly right what I'm saying. Phone. But, Casey, I didn't even see you do that, so it didn't take that long? No. It was posted up in, you know, I took, that was what, 30, 45 second video. It was up there within a minute, minute and a half, up to our video hosting service encoded and already published to my blog. Because I put that out on the public blog, so if I come back here and actually look at it, we'll actually see that post right there. Public. It's magic! That's that was sneaky, dude. <laughs> so with mobile, so what we've done with mobile is we've actually built fully functional apps that replicate all, and I mean all, of the features that I just showed on the desktop version in the browser straight from your mobile device on iPhone and tablet. Wait, Casey, so, so can, I, can I, for example, I want to ask a question. Yep. Could I sit, t push this button, it says take video, take a video, make a message to my team, tag the people in the inner circle in it, and that would just pop up in people's back offices, and if they didn't have the inner circle, it would say, upgrade now. Um, yeah. <laughs> hold on a second. Pretty much, yeah. Hold, hold on. Without ever even logging in on the computer? Without ever, ever, without ever logging in on the computer. Come on, folks! Come on! Casey. Yep. Oh. <laughs> that was weak. Casey, go again. <laughs> oh, God. So, 
So we actually support, when we're going out, we have <laughs> apps for iPhone, for iPad, yeah. for Android, and for Android tablet. Why don't want? So, and what's ever better, what's even better is I can see my entire activity feed. You know, if I navigate around, you know, I can actually go and watch all of my training from my mobile device. So all your products are accessible. I can email. I have access to my back office information, like leaderboards, competition info, commissions, pretty much anything that you can see inside the ENV2 platform on the web, I can manage straight from my mobile device. So you know how much time you spend on your phone now? We're about to like quadruple that. Yeah. What I want to do here real quick, guys, there's some questions that are just going to pop up if we don't answer them. Oh, sure. Right? So I'd like to just ask him some questions that I know people will be asking uh, for a couple of minutes. So uh, first of all, how much is it going to cost for the existing blog customers to, to have this upgraded version of the blog when, when we Good launch question. this? It's going to be the same $25 you've been paying all So I'm going to pay now. Okay, so, all right, all right. Wait, wait. I have to. Uh, so, um, <laughs> so what about, you know, there's going to be some concerns because we haven't talked about it. Uh, a lot of people in here are into SEO. They've got you know, hundreds and we've got millions of blog posts on the sure. site now. What about the URL structure, the existing posts on the site, existing videos, all that stuff? Sure. Well, and we're doing a lot of work to make sure that when we import all of the content, and we're importing all of the content from the current system over into ENV2. So the link structures, so, SEO, so all that. Structures, all your links are going to be are going to be maintained. What we're going to be able to do is, we are well, we are going to be able to. Everything's going to be maintained mm -hmm. from an SEO standpoint. There's going to be a few redirects here and there, but we're going to do it in an SEO compliant way, where we make sure that we respect all the SEO that you guys have worked so hard to build over the last year and a half. Um. I'm just getting excited and my brain's going a little bit blank, you know, uh, from, from this. Um, last, last, last thing, actually. I don't know if you have any other, uh, other questions. But I'm just, I'm, is all I can think about is total internet domination. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty much. From, not from a affiliate perspective or from a customer perspective, maybe a customer perspective, I don't know. But just from a technology perspective and a platform perspective, you know, you've been into technology your whole adult life. What's your perspective on, on this and, and why this is valuable just as a, as a platform, as a blogging platform, uh, and how it compares to other things out there? Well, we've built effectively, you know, an entire another network on every single level of competition with the other major players that are out there in the blogging space. Everything from Tumblr, from TypePad, you know, certainly WordPress, and we're certainly easier to use than WordPress. But we've, we've built a platform to be able to interact both with just empowered network members, but also customers that are coming to anybody that wants to have a presence online. This is their platform. We built this to be everyone's platform that wants to be able to make money online, whether it's from someone that's an empowered network affiliate, to someone who's selling some other opportunity other line, to someone who just wants to blog about their kittens for some reason. You know, we have the technology to be able to support it, and we have the most integrated experience online as well. Everything from the activity feeds and the blogs that they see, from the video hosting and the audio hosting that we offer, along with the mobile experience that quite honestly is second to none. There's not another blogging platform that's out there right now that has the level of mobile integration that Empower Network is gonna have yeah. right out of the box. So, I just had to do that. I don't actually know if there's more. Uh, now I, I helped do the do the, do the ideas for this yep. uh, and everything uh, for six months, so I know a lot about it. Um, have a breakthrough! Everybody say breakthrough! breakthrough. Well, you got to say it like in breakthrough. breakthrough. <laughs> You're on hey, there. hey, I've I've got a question. Sure. So, 
now we've 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 developed this for a year and and we've invested you know you know millions of dollars into this platform is this how, how much dave i i, I don't just know millions i think almost three million it, it doesn't matter there's millions of dollars yeah. almost three million i think but but here's really my question is is this like it? Are we like letting the tech team go now, sending them home? Oh, like, uh, no. Is this it? Or is there like, and I don't want to give away too much, but we, are we already working on, on, on anything else? Oh, yeah. Well, and there's, there's even things, you know, there's, there is wait, waiting on it, and there's going to be more. Because this is the foundation. This is just like the unveiling of the new thing, right? What's going to end up happening over the next year is going to blow your mind. Because we're going to take it from this to where any other criticism and any other feature that could possibly be out there from the tumblers or the type pads or the WordPresses or whoever other blogging platform is out there, we're not done until utter domination, until we are the number one platform that's out there. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second here when I, when I hype everybody up. <laughs> That's my job, is to create notes. Casey talks, David creates hype. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, All right? Uh, there was something else that I wanted to ask you, uh, but it's not in my head right now. Um, wait, there's more. Uh, actually, that's a great actually, question. That is a good actually. question. We actually, that is a, actually very good. I'm glad that got brought up. The entire site was built with multilingual in mind to be able to support straight up languages out of the box. So, so we're going to be coming out actually very soon after launch. Maybe not right at launch, but very soon after launch. This, and we're talking this year after launch. We're going to be coming out with other language support. And so we were actually built just from the ground up when we built this new platform. Is we wanted to take some of those pains that were kind of associated with the old site away to where we can easily and quickly actually go to pretty much any country worldwide, have a, a localized blog to where that business can just expand exponentially. And, and guys, I want to I wanna give another perspective on this real quick. Uh, recently, we moved like 95% of our customer service to Costa Rica to bilingual people, uh, specifically because of the fact that when we translate everything and launch in Spanish, uh, they'll already be trained to support. How many of you guys can really envision having a team of, of you know, Multi people speaking all kinds of different languages all over the world. Can you, can you really see that? Can you really see that? Does that fit into your vision? A downline of 100,000 people, your event being this big, and maybe Silvio over in Portugal or, or somebody over in Russia, right? Somebody down in Mexico, events going on in Costa Rica, people blogging in multiple different languages. I mean, can you guys see that? That's where we're going. KC, 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 KC. Everybody, give my hand. Stand up. Stand up. Give my hand. Thanks, guys. Hey, you can push your Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Dave. Appreciate it.